Good morning. I'm Lillian Walker, broker and equity maximization specialist in Huntington Beach and Newport Beach and surrounding communities. Today I wanted to talk about a little misconception that a lot of buyers have. And they think that because um, they're calling the agent that's on the listing sign, that it'll give them an edge or a discount, if you will, or some sort of upper hand if they deal with the agent that has that house listed. And actually, uh, that's not really true. If you deal directly with the listing agent who has a primary legal responsibility to the seller, then what happens is the seller ends up paying not only the broker that's representing them, who has the house listed and has that sign out front, but they also pay the other 3% that goes to the buyer's agent. That goes entirely now to the listing agent. And now you, as the buyer, have no representation because you don't have anybody in your corner fighting for the best price, negotiating everything in your favor. So the law says that the listing agent, since they're hired by the seller, they have a fiduciary, which is a legal responsibility to negotiate everything in favor of their client. And the buyer's agent, they have the same responsibility to, to you know, for you, the buyer. So whether you are, um, you know, if you're going to be buying a home, it makes perfect sense to get your own representation because whether you get that buyer's agent or not to represent you, the seller is going to be paying for that representation, whether they pay it to your agent or whether they pay it to their agent. So why not get your own pit bull? And it's no different than being in court and having an, an attorney. It would make no sense, of course, for you to go to somebody who's suing you and say, well, let me uh, talk to your attorney. Maybe he can negotiate for both of us because um, I want to save a few dollars. <laughs> that other attorney is going to go, absolutely. And they're going to wipe you clean, take your the shirt off your back, and take every asset you have because they have a legal responsibility to their client, not to you. You're an after the fact. And the law says that they have to negotiate for their client. And so whichever attorney is representing you that you hire, whether you're a seller or you're a buyer, the law says that everything has to be negotiated in your favor and they have to have fair and honest dealings. So why not get your own agent? You see a house that's for sale, call an agent that you like and trust and that you can work with and get them to get you access to that home. Don't shortcut and go directly to that listing agent. And those are my grains of sand for you today. Just wanted to dispel that myth that you're, you've got some sort of advantage by going directly to that listing agent because the reality is you're really not. You're um, not doing yourself a service. So, And I've been the list agent many, many times and many times I represent buyers. But what I want people to know, whether they go through me or anybody else, is that you have the best information so you can make the best informed choice for you and your family. That's it. I'm Lillian Walker. Comments, questions, concerns, or complaints, I'd love to hear from you in any way. Make sure you circle back around at clickhomesnow.com. Bye-bye.